good evening to all the viewers who are watching live and will be watching on a recorded version uh let me just tell you in a brief now uh, from today onwards you can just get your uh, e certificates by clicking on the link and uh, below in the description just click on that and you will be getting your e certificates of today's cme and sorry for the, the inconvenience in other cmes uh, there will be <laughs> there will be no pickers in but, uh, from now onwards you can just get your uh, e certificates from there Uh, so without wasting any more time let's just start the uh, 30 seconds countdown time everybody good okay. evening kalyan sir good okay. day and uh, starting from day 1 and today is the 60th cme the figure is a glorious figure but to start tonight cme we uh, starting with a deep and shocking news we had lost one of our seniors a uh, beloved batchmate of our president dr kalyani sir dr mohammad alim both batch tipenage had breath his last today at 4 pm he was a brilliant and dedicated professional he upheld the legacy of dr kapikar at chennai and tamil nadu i request our president dr devnaran kalyani sir to say a few words about uh, thank you bidut it is a very deadly shocking news for me very sad news that one of my best friend dr mohammad ali has passed away today at 4 pm in chennai on behalf of alumni association nasus of homeopathy alumni association all of us Pray to Almighty, let His soul be in the eternal peace. Regarding Alim, there are many things to tell you. One thing I should not miss that is he was our soul. Within a very short period, you will be able to know why and how Alumni Association was formed. In that movement. when the soil was preparing for this association he was our soul means we have learned that pain is mightier than soul he was our pain the best soul to write letters to all the corners within a very short time in very concise form brief and to the point excellent writer he was a brilliant student in all subject equal knowledge he was very short light figured person but internally mentally he was a heavy person nobody was able to bow down from principles ideologies he was such a strict person and having tremendous knowledge on all the subjects it is a great loss on behalf of the alumni association i was just trying to contact with him to bring in the cme and in the alumni meet but it's a bad luck that we have lost him it is a great loss for alumni association not only alumni association there are few persons in the world who are striving and fighting for homeopathic development he was one of them so with the expectation with the hope that his soul will be in eternal peace his movement effort will be continued by his disciples and his followers with this let us start our seat today's ceremony with a sad and heavy heart
थैंक यू lack of connectivity sir uh, thank you for your uh, sharing of your memories and uh, but the quest for knowledge must go on and uh, with the same spirit we will start tonight cme with permission of you sir i'll uh, call on our inaugurator tonight she has been a very dynamic student and she is working now in aims patna dr manjurani maurya our inaugurator tonight with your permission sir thank you sir for inviting me uh, good evening to everyone to all my respected teachers seniors my colleagues juniors and all the viewers who are watching it uh, it's my privilege to inaugurate the 60th online cme program organized by nih alumni association uh, this association this organization is very strong and i feel blessed to be the part of it since uh, not very long time uh, and i am very much thankful to the nih Uh, alumni association especially dr dn kalyani sir dr bidyut sir uh, dr pralay sir for uh, honoring me to or inaugurate the online session uh, so today cme webinar first of all i welcome everyone uh, dr professor dr prashant rat sir who is today's moderator he is the head of the department of community medicine and as well as the academic in charge in nih uh, dr mahadev sir he is the former principal of the calcutta homeopathic medical college and hospital as well as pcm homeopathic medical college and hospital i also welcome dr sushukendu sir Shukendu Sarkar sir, he is the presently associate professor as well as the head of the department of the organ of medicine at PCM Homeopathic Medical College and Hospital. Today's topic for CME is very, uh, frankly speaking, it's a very common topic but very important topic. It is about the LM potency, that is 50 millisimal scale. today our speakers will speak about the utility as well as uh, the use of 50 millisimal scale in the clinical practice i hope and believe that today's cme program will be very informative for the viewers who are watching it today online as well as for all the viewers who will be watching the recorded version in the future so without any delay i would like to hand over the mic to the moderator Dr. Prashant Rath Sir, uh, for the further proceeding. Thank you, Sir. Good evening. Uh, good evening to all of you. And uh, on behalf of NIH Alumni Association, uh, I am the moderator for today's session. This is uh, 60th CM online CME uh, that the NIH Alumni Association is uh, conducting, and uh, uh, <coughs> I, I feel privileged and honored to be a Uh, to be associated with uh, such organization and uh, which has been conducting this online sessions for a very long time uh, uh, as you all know today's uh, topic is uh, on 50 millisimal potency and we have with us dr professor dr mahadev de who is a ex principal of calcutta homeopathic medical college and uh, <coughs> he has uh, also been ex principal of pratap chandra homeopathic medical college and he has worked in nih also he has been an alumni of uh, nih and uh, he has worked in nih uh, uh, as a guest uh, reader in department of organ and medicine and his topic will be on uh, utility of uh, lm potency in practice homeopathic practice and uh, our next speaker will be dr sukhendu sarkar who has been working as a associate professor in the department of organ of medicine in pratap chandra homeopathic medical college calcutta 
so i welcome both the speakers uh, for to this session and uh, first i would like to request uh, dr Ma professor dr mahadev de to uh, give his uh, deliberations on the topic over to dr mahadev de um so we are still facing issues with mahadev de sir Mahadev, this camera is not being opening, so please say you can manage. No issues. We will uh, we will uh, uh, then go to Dr. Sukhendu Sarkar. Uh, I would request uh, Dr. Sarkar to give his deliberations, and his topic for today is clinical practice uh, on 50 millisimal scale. I would like to request. I I hand over the uh, session to Dr. Sarkar. Please, Dr. Sarkar. <coughs> Yes, thank you, Dr. Basandara. Myself, Dr. Sukhinder Sarkar, starting with clinical practice, 50 millisimal potency. It is very widely used nowadays, but we have you see the background. What Hanuman himself is in the fourth edition. Till the after the giving the first dose, Hanuman explained in the says that in the former edition, so in the fourth edition of organ, I have advised a single dose of well selected homeopathic medicine should always be allowed first fully to expand its access before the new medicine given or the same one is repeated. Otherwise, the case is spoiled. Now, Hanuman's mind setup is changed. He wants to, particularly in chronic case, he wants to reduce, he wants to rapid cure, means he wants the time should be short. He wants in shortest period of time. So, he want to, Hanuman was a great experimenter, he want to experiment He going to experiment with the action of medicines and he giving he want to experiment with the action of medicines that time and he going to repetitions, going to frequent repetitions. And suppose he giving sulfur, sulfur giving that sulfur giving every weekly but in every seven days intervals in this patients but that centesimal scale repeated observations give some problem so that's why that it needs some other medicine especially for solve some so anyone gives big problem with repetition so he requires the required care. So he is searching how to solve the problem. So if you we go the aphorism two forty six particularly. So in six editions, Hanuman written every perceptibly progressive and striking increasing ameliorations during the treatment is a condition which as long as it lasts completely precludes every repetition of the administration of any medicines whatsoever. Because all the good the medicines taken continues to affect is now hastening towards its completion. This is not infrequently cause of acute disease. But in most chronic diseases, on the other hand, a single dose of appropriately selected homeopathic remedy will at times complete even with but slowly progressive improvement. But in case of slowly progressive improvement, give the help with such a remedy in such a case can accomplish naturally within 40, 50, 60, 100 days. Means is required more times, slowly progress. He want to reduce that time. So this was searching in mind. So this is however, 
but rarely in the case and besides it must be a matter of great importance to the physicians as well as to the patients that are possible this period should be diminished how much to one up one quarter or even still less so that as much more rapid cure might be obtained and this may be very happily affected in 6th edition he wrote a recent and oft repeated observations so he want to frequent repetitions but centesimal observations that is some aggravation so he want to switch up recent observation searching and 270 total preparations method everything in details that is recent that is the lm potency or preparational or oft repeated observation has taught under me under the following condition but not all the conditions he gives some conditions for 50 ml scale firstly if the medicine selected with utmost care was perfectly homeopathic that should be homeopathic the selection should be completely on the basis of similium homeopathic second if highly potentized dissolves in water and given in proper small dose that experience has taught as the most suitable in definite intervals for the quickest accomplishment of the cure but with precautions precautions that the degree of every dose deviate somewhat from the preceding and following in order that vital principle which to be altered to its similar medicinal disease be not arose to unto our reactions and revolt as always the case with unmodified and especially rapidly repeated dose because vital force don't take the same stimuli so you have to some sakas and strokes so that is hanuman idea and he wants to switch up the 50 ms scale because the material dose is very less in 50 ms so 1 by 50 thousands hmm? 500 into 100 50 thousands but that idea we get very late because sixth edition manuscript was published very much later even the kings the strollers like kings etc not getting that although the bonihosens knows the idea but he cannot tell as madam anyman tell him he, he cannot publish something about 15 minutes of skill because the manuscript was not yet published bonihosens in lesser writing alumina gives some idea about the 15 minutes one but he cannot publish he also practicing on 15 minutes one but k the strollers like kent they wants more dilution so they are go go more higher potencies like 1m 10m in this patients more dilutions method so more penetrating the case so hanuman so even publication of sixth edition that was even not give good result even not he not published in, in the, after dr pierre smith writing in british journal of homeopathy he widely accepted that 15 ms skill 15 ms skill and later on there is so many uh, by practice by 15 ms skill we got like after pierre smith we can get charles ward even in our orimon choudhury dr s p they they published dr patel there is so many 15 scale publications and hanuman actually give the name new dynamisms method and he said this is the most perfect new altered and perfect method this 15 scale scale is most perfect and altered method and 50 l it was the lm potency l means 50 and m millisimal potency uh, we usually use 0 by 1 0 by 2 0 particularly for globules one opposite globules that unique is 0 and we give usually the ascending wave and 50 small scale is the very widely useful acute as well as chronic case when it is like your own car you can go by this way 
from a, by centesimal scale one we started the centesimal scale it may aggravations ameliorations but we cannot do some things it's go its own way but centesimal scale we are going to rapidly we, uh, we can uh, in uh, gapping the scale or and that's why 15% scale is very handful where we can minimize the aggravations or anything. And the homeopathic aggravations, it occurs at the end, that is same symptoms. At the end, homeopathic aggravations gives. Now there is some there is some calculations given 15 on the basis of 15 scales. scales. Mm. If we go that is, uh, Dr. Evaretti gives relations between 15 decimal and centesimal scale. But 15, centesimal, 15 decimal scale, 0 by 1, it indicates 16x, means 18c. 0 by 2 indicates 20 to 21x, that is 10c approximately. Similarly, 3 approximately 13c. 8 approximately 25 c 10 approximately 30 c means 30 potency centesimal scale equivalent to 0 by 10. similarly 12 equal 35 c 18 equal to 50 c 24 equal to 65 c and 30 equal to 80 c in like fashion so and if we go to the dilutions, Dr. S. M. Bhattacharya, he gives some dilutions method that is in centesimal scale only 10 succussions, whereas 15 scale 100 succussions, it goes to the more diluting forms. So he gives zero, whereas 0 by 1, 15 decimal gives only 100 succussions, whereas above 5 potency, centesimal scale only 50 succussions. Similarly, 0 by 30 means 300 succussions. Mm, in this presence, here is centesimal scale, more succussions. It is more penetrating in actions. And uh, there is so many cases in the 15 decimal scales. And it is the, you can designate it 0 by 1, 0 by 2, or designated m by 1, m by 2. And there is so many controversy. In between, there is Korsakov, there is using high potencies. Hanuman also himself also comment as about Korsakov that I must say that these procedures seem to so cheaply how high one can go with the potentized attenuations of medicines without their actions on the human health becoming need. For this, this experiment is inestimable value. Also, Dr. Finke uses the high potency in me and there is some writing about honeymoon now that's 50 decimal is widely acceptable and in our daily practice we can use 50 decimal practice and personally i can say that 50 decimal is give immense value in our day-to-day -day practice we can give some examples like Suppose a patient, I can get a female patient, 97 years old, homeomala bhumi, that patient is mostly similar. It is a peculiar lachesis patient. I cannot get such type of patient very many, rarely that gives the, act the most similar patients. That is, a patient is severe itching, body with extremities causes, and severe itching, that itching causes bleeding, Bleeding and that bleeding after discharge, burning, he also constipated and it's too like a goat stool. Also, his urine scanty sometimes on drops in mouth, don't get taste, he's religious, always use puja part, etc. But she is very suspicious in nature. When he sees cooking his own food, own some things. His daughter in law may give poisons or some things. He thinks so. He, he she used one idea. He has a some fixed idea in his mind. And thermal reactions hot. And she has some washing mania also. He aversion to sour, perspiration less, 
and we started 50 millisiemen potency uh, legacy 0 by 1 until 0 by 2 and continuous going until after finishing we go to the 10 m potency 50 m potency cm and it is very improving but that repetitions anyone says you should very cautious about repetitions we if you go to the another patients during repetitions i can say one of the headmistress of the girls college girls school uh, she was suffering from psoriasis mm. and that psoriasis on elbow on right knee and both finger joints of hands also in sole and that's peculiar is winter aggravations she also has called in 1999 and hysterectomy 15 years ago although she is a mother of two daughters both are cesarean sections and family history we get his father died with hypertension family history mother died with carcinoma of liver and thermal reaction hot considering all these things and we think arborvita the two uh, zero by one potency we started zero by potency patient is improving psoriasis zero by two zero by three when starting zero by four suddenly he aggravates all the psoriasis so repetitions we need utmost care so during repetitions how to repeat on the patients you have to sincere about the repetitions mm, there otherwise the case may be spoiled even in 15 cells so we have to give repetitions with with care either every intervals sometimes may aggravations you may stop the medicines that is. or even centesimal scale like animal says we initially then after fast dose even single dose may sometimes sufficient completion of the cure completion no read every he started with also six editions they completely peculiar every repetitions when the improvement is occurs in another case we can see this mrs roy married 25 four years of age she is suffering from fibroadenoma right breast three to four years there is one large nodules also swelling in the right back vaccine after vaccinations mm -hmm. right side and he also suffering from some gas formation headache particularly wants to lying down past history was jaundice typhoid family history father was hypertension and some ga gastritis problem this after she is she is hot, thirst little quantity frequent, even uh, appetite oh, good, maybe craving for so sweet salt, uh, warm food, even cold water, cold drinks, particularly ice cream, etc. Even aggravation for sour, he aversion, she is aversion for milk, and perspiration moderate, particularly back, underarm. He particularly dreams of ghost and most peculiar things i see this is fear of cockroach we cannot see the cockroach that is single rubrics in phosphorus in kent's repertory and company desire menstruals for delayed menstruation we started with phosphorus 0 by 1 considering phosphorus 0 by 2 0 3 fiber adenoma far reduced and ultimately continuing with phosphorus Fiber uh, Nima Gan, you see some menstrual problem, delayed menses, four to five, five days liquid. I, that problem started with after birth of baby and some leukoria before after menses. And phosphorus zero by five. After that, we switch over to CPR. The, the, so, if you go to the 15, uh, 15 millisecond scale, there is immense scope with 15 millisecond scale. Animan, that's why six editions. Uh, Animan was a great experimenter, and with experimentation, he sees that if you if we apply 15 millisecond scale, that we can cure rapidly. Rapidly means the duration we can 
minimize that duration we can minimize higher as 100 days we one quarter or more than less we can use that, that's why 50 minutes one even not easy widely uh, not available be all the like, but 50 minutes one is even mm. and if we practice on the base of 50 minutes one scale we we see the patients cure very rapidly and very finest way you can see 50 minutes one skills mm. That is the sort, I think. Next. Next, go to Dr. Dev. We will talk with something more. Easy. He is a author of the Petrin Science Skills. Switch over, Dr. Roth. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, he actually uh, uh, gave the uh, like when to use 50 millisimal like even i when i came to nh when i joined nh i saw uh, everybody is practicing 50 millisimal potency before that i knew about 50 millisimal potency because of non-availability uh, like uh, it was very difficult to put it uh, into practice but what i found after coming to nh i found that a lot of people are using this 50 millisimal spell or sar has rightly mentioned that uh, no, if you really want to reduce the duration of uh, uh, recovery <clears throat> or cure and you want to uh, gently repeat even the uh, deep acting <clears throat> remedies or even no jerks, in that case, uh, if you go with the centesimal potency, there will be difficulties. But there may be aggravations at times. But or, or you have to wait till the last potency was used to exhaust itself completely uh, frequent repetitions are not possible so uh, if you want your patients to recover rapidly if you want to uh, repeat some of the deep acting remedies constitutional remedies and nozzles uh, with uh, you want the frequent repetition should be there it is always uh, advisable to use 15 millisimal potencies as sar was telling <coughs> Uh, regarding preparation, maybe we, we will uh, learn uh, it from the uh, first speaker, Dr. Mahadev there, but he has given uh, three cases where he has used, uh, Dr. Sarkar has used lacases, Thusa and Phosphorus. As you can see, all these are uh, like constitutional remedies or deep acting remedies. And uh, if you go to centesimal potency, you have to give a, give a, a dose and you will have to wait for very long period of time till it exhausts its action. If you do frequent repetition, there are chances of aggravation. Maybe that is the reason why he uh, she has been using this 50 millisimal potency and where even you can repeat nozzards and constitutional remedies very uh, frequently, you know, on daily basis also alternate days. Uh, as we do in NIH, mostly we uh, give the medicines on alternate days or uh, as, uh, as, uh, as the case requires. Even we, in acute cases also, we can repeat it more frequently. Uh, <clears throat> so he has given an example of a case of lacases, thusa and phosphorus, where he has used these helium potencies and got results, good results. Now, uh, uh, if uh, uh, Dr. Mahadev Day is available, I would like to request him to deliberate on his topic. Thanks a lot, Dr. Prashant Roth, including inaugurators Manjurani Moira and the other speaker, Dr. Sukhendu Sarkar. I am due to some problem in the microphone. I was off, but now I am coming to the main structure that is LM potency that is the practice of LM potency or utility of the LM potency. The LM potency, the latest discovery of Hanuman, 50 millisimal potency. The L stands for 50 and M for stands for millisimal. So this 50 millisimal potency, there is a history. Before that, there are three scale of potency. One is decimal scale of potency, which has been introduced by the Constantinine herring. Another is centesimal potency. In 
Constantinian having decimal potency, the medicine and the vehicle ratio is 1 is to 9. That is 1 is to 10 proportionate. But in case of centesimal potency, which has been introduced by the Heinemann himself, and the medicinal part of one substance and with the 99 parts of the vehicle. And gradually the centesimal potency was coming forth. As Hanneman, during his lifetime, research, he has been researches many cases. And during his practice, he has been thoroughly changed the from starting from the medicine of experience, first edition of organonomedicine, second edition of organonomedicine, third, fourth, and fifth, up to 18, 17, 1833. But during the lifetime, the last three to four years, he was disgusted about the centesimal potency. And it he found when he was 86 years of old, with a roaring practice at Paris, he found that even with the 30th potency centesimal, it aggravates the many sensible patients, neurotic patients, there is an aggravation. In that aggravation, he found that the centesimal potency, the action of the medicine is not so rapid. It is it has got uh, some medicinal aggravations and the repetitions of the medicine is not possible because the up to 50 edition, 246 aphorism he has been told that after administrations of single medicine, constitutional or similima medicine, it takes long time to cure 40 days 50 days, 60 days, even 100 days. So he came to the conclusion after his thorough research in the LM potency, where the minimizations of the dose up to infinitesimal, that is the previous to late, later potency differs one by 50,000 part of the medicinal substances. The preparations of the Medicines, as you have been seen, in uh, there is in the sixth edition of organic medicine, we will see that aphorism 270 and 71. It has been clearly mentioned about the preparations of the LM potency, where we can see the three degrees of trituration. After that, we make a 500 parts of the mother solution, where 400 drops of distilled water and 100 drops of alcohol with the previous medicine. And thereafter, gradually, LM by 1, LM by 2, LM by 3, series of the potency is going on. As Hanneman researches himself in such a way that for the quickest accomplishment of the cure, the LM potency, where the quantity of the medicine is reduced, but the qualitative power of the medicine is increased in such a way so that it gives a quickest accomplishment of the cure. So in LM potency, it has been given to understand what Hanneman that in centesimal, cure was not rapid, aggravation persists especially in chronic disease, and troublesome aggravations with the unusually nervous and excitable patient, if even the material quantity of the dosage that last three to four years, research has introduced a new scale. That is, previously it was 10 succussant and he introduced with 100 succussant with 1 by 50,000 part of the medicinal potency of the previous one. Now, doses under new method cuts out the periods of suffering 
which was in the centesimal scale took up to 100 days but here the the same aphorism in sixth edition of organo medicine hanimen told what i have been reading in the sixth edition of organo medicine the then time it was correct but after my laborious experiment of the last 18 months of my work i came to the conclusion that the lm potency is a very much new altered but perfected methods and for the quickest accomplishment of the patient it can we reduce the time one half one fourth even less time for the cure of both acute and chronic diseases so the biographer of hanimen richard hell of germany he told and he has been written that hanimen has been completed the fifth edition of organo medicine in 1842 as per his writings that is bio bio biographer of hanimen that is richard hell but not it has been published as hanimen died the 2nd july 1843 but there are a long history we have seen that four time five times has been after the death of hanimen it was under the custody of the second wife madam malen he she was not hand over to this manuscript that was that's why it has been taken 78 years after the death of hanimen and ultimately with the financial help, help of the william borick richard hell the english version of the 50 millisimal potency was published in the year in 1921 but it is a pity thing that many eminent physicians many eminent doctors including keynes who has the contribution and who is the direct disciple and that most important homeopath as everybody knows that kent also not mention about the 50 millisimal potency she, he was trying from the very beginning even the completion of 30th potency by hanimen in centesimal potency he tried to get rid of the many diseases he has been tried to start 200 potency 1m potency 10m potency 10m cm mm and more potency but he was he was not satisfied because he died in the year 18 in 1916 can die so the fourth edition fifth sixth edition of organo medicine was not come into the market but the english knowing world when it comes to the 1921 thereafter somebody on many homeopaths are practicing with this but till today many of us is not accustomed with this 50 millisimal potency those who are not using they are in the dark because the 50 millisimal potency the best efforts of the 50 millisimal potency is the action of the medicine is very much rapid they can be repeated frequently and both in acute and chronic cases including the dreaded diseases and including the nosodes and sarcodes can be used in the lm potency that is in 50 millisimal potency where the cure is being established in very nice way If we can see the useful utility of the lm potency in practice that it is marvelous this is multivarious it is lm potency used in acute diseases acute diseases which comes suddenly last for short prolonged period and ends either recovery or death of the cases in acute totality as we know that with the symptom totality the acute totality gives a quick 
medicine selection. If we can select the medicine similimum, then in acute cases, on repetitions, we can shorten the period of sufferings. Similarly, in case of the chronic cases too, the long lasting chronic cases that can be reduced to its one half, one fourth, or even less time than that of centesimal potency. So, in LM potency, not only the acute and chronic diseases, unusually excited and sen sensitive patients can be treated with this. Even in the cases of the idiosyncratic, where the olfaction is needed, that can be also permissible with this LM potency. In case of deaf and dumb patient, where with the help of their attendants, relatives, friends, etc., the totality gives. On the basis of that, we can prescribe the LM potency orally. In case of unconscious patient, also we can prescribe if it is not possible to open their mouth, we can rub the medicines on skin because the sensitive nerve of the skin is very, very effective for the action of the medicines. Similarly, in case of child, child and newborn babies, they can be given medicines through their mother's milk. Even in so-called surgical and incurable cases, that also in surgical cases, we can get the boils, carbuncles, etc. after the administrations of the 50 millisimal potency, it drains out the pus and tissues debris. In relation to these ties, collagen, the fistula in anno, fistula in lacrimalis, tumors, warts, condylomata, on any type of growth, easily disappears by the indicated similimum medicines of LM potency. So this LM potency that it also treated the dreaded diseases like cancer, AIDS, etc. And in case of skin eruptions, psoriasis, ringworms, leprosy, etc., eczema, different type of eczema, this LM potency has got a limitation. Here we used to see that frequent repetition may spoil the case and there may be an aggravation too. Those who are practicing, they can get their, <coughs> their knowledge from that, that it is to some extent difficult. So, in case of I can say that by excite the citing few examples in case of cure of acute disease and chronic cases. In acute diseases, I have a great experience in the case. One I am citing over here that a case boy of seven years came to me with the symptoms of bryonia has for large quantities of cold water at long intervals with fever. That fever was up to the 103. And before coming to me three days back, other homeopath prescribed the bryonia 30 followed by next day bryonia 200. But it was for slightly deviations of the temperature up to 101 or again 102 raised to it is not coming, no, not ameliorating. In that situation when it came to me, I also astonished and I thought if there is any acute miasm behind it because 
the symptoms is showing the bryonia alba all symptoms are showing even then the fever is not going that time i thought thus regarding about the susceptibility the susceptibility can assess the potency if i if we can make the uh, measurement of the susceptibility then we can we thought in that case there may be the virulency of the diseases that situation i prescribe lm1 of bryonia and 2 to 3 hour 2 to 3 hour interval and surprisingly we found the next day fever come down how rapid cure it is in acute cases similarly in the chronic cases i have seen many of them where a case of thalassemia in the boy of 6 years with huge enlargement of the spleen and severe anemia where the hemoglobin level was 3.6 g detected 6 months back he used to get blood transfusion twice in a month he was brought on 2nd october 1996 with all the symptoms of postica which was prescribed on 1 but on 116 1 by 1 on 16 doses to be taken daily morning followed by costicum 0 by 2 in same direction as mentioned by hani the i was pleasantly surprised to know after 3 months that the hemoglobin become high that is 7 g percent he had advised to stop the blood transfusion and the same medicine up to lm20 was given the case improved a lot within 11 months of time there was no need of blood transfusion any more it may not be out of place to mention here that the case was reported in all india radio calcutta so the question is that even a disease like thalassemia may be controlled and at the same time rapid cure is possible due to the 50 ml potency needless to say that i was treated the case not in the name of the disease but on the basis of the symptom similarity considering the patient as a whole covering the constitutions and myogenetic background another case suppressed eczema in neck with cardiac distress a powerful somewhat cardiac involvement a gentleman 39 years of age came from howrah to consult me on 21st 1098 with a history of eczematous eruption in neck hands etc for many years he had also complained complained about a pain in the upper abdomen mainly right side which used to aggravate a periting the precordial pain with cardiac involvement was taking place for last 6 months past history measles at the age of 5 years jaundice at the age of 7 years family history asthma and asthma of maternal grandmother personal history was a chain smoker generalities he was hot patient with sweaty face fast was very much even at night appetite was good there was desire for cod sour things sweet and meat and aversion to bitter as also intolerance of egg his mind was irritable there was fear of lightning and thunderstorm he was fond of music history of sleepless days and hypertension was also found he told me that he had eruptions on the neck in the month of february 1997 it was cured with ointment and then he got eczema on neck which was suppressed by ointment and then came the chest pain for last 6 months it, it was aggravated by walking and ameliorated by rest on 21st 1098 medurinum lm1 15 doses were prescribed with an improvement on taking once with a, a with a direction to taking once daily on 6 11 98 chest pain ameliorated to some extent 
the medurinum LM216 doses as before. On 25th, 11, 98, difficulty of moving is ameliorated. Eximetus eruption appeared in the neck. Medorinum LM3, 16 doses to be taken once every morning. In 16, 12, 98, no chest pain, but the eczema of the neck increasing. Medorinum LM4, 7 doses as before. On 7, 1, 99, Ugly looking eczema with foul smelling discharge. Medurinum LM5. Five, five, seven doses as before. And 17, 27, 199. Angry looking of the eczema relief, no chest pain. Medurinum LM6. Gradually, in nine, on 19 to 99, the abdominal pain and chest pain had gone. Eczema going to dry up. We prescribe, I prescribe Medurinum 07. Seven doses every third day. Then on 10, 3.99, no precordial pain, no abdominal disturbances. Medurinum LM8 every third day. On 30th, March 99, patient has a whole feeling better. Medurinum LM9, seven doses every third day. On 22nd, 4.99, patient says, I am now free from symptoms. How long I will continue it? It is the question of the patient. Even then, I told and I prescribed LM, LM9, seven doses every third day. On 17,599, as per versions of the patient, he is free from all ailments and no need of doctor. But one thing I'm telling, many of the patients might tell like that, but Suppression after suppression of the superficial symptom like skin disease invade the most deeper organs like heart, lung, kidney, etc. And the similima antimyosematic constitutional medicine cures the cases permanently. So need no need to say here another case that case number four ulcerations of the mouth and throat. A gentleman just turned 50 years of age came under my professional case in the fourth day of March 1999. He was suffering from the bleeding ulcer of mouth and throat. Used to occurrence of the bleeding was also found and which aggravated by the cold application, he had a sensation of the splinter in the throat. Generalities, he was a chilly patient, thirst and appetite was normal, his sweat was offensive. He desired for milk, meat, hot food and drinks. The, in mind, irritable, vindictive in nature, sleep, can catnap sleep, dreams of daily business, stool loose and never form. There is no form stool. Urine very offensive like a horse's urine, past history, typhoid, state of vomiting and hypertension was found. And for this reason, he was also hospitalized. Final, that is the family history also, asthma of uncle, rheumatism of mother with eczema, personal history, taking coiny for a very long period. First of all, on 4 3 my prescription was LM1 acid nitric. 16 doses, one dose daily in the morning as per directions of the LM potency. On 16, 3, 99, little improvement on the uh, ulcerations of the mind, mouth, throat, corner of the mouth, and bleeding only once. My prescription was LM2 acid nitric, 16 doses as before. 31, 399, patient can deglutate it properly due to less ulcerations of the throat. Is feeling, throat is feeling better, no bleeding. Nitric acid, LM3. On 16, 499, ulcerations of mouth and throat better with less sensation of the splinter in the throat, offensiveness of the all discharges ameliorated to some extent. LM, LM4 of the acid nitric given 15 doses. The patient was and on 4 599, the patient was whole feeling better as a whole. So, after completion in this way, 25 699, the whatever we prescribe the acid nitric LM8 7 doses every third day. Comments.
looking now on the whole of this case considering all leads points like miasmatic all three miasms the remedy cure the case within a short period by following the principles of homeopathy so in this way we can go many cases so the time is short that's why i am summarize this case in the view of lm potency this lm potency is a new altered but perfected method as mentioned by the hanneman because he found that for the quickest accomplishment of the cure it is very much useful we can give many of the cases that i have been told many dreaded cases even in the cases of cancers too but my dear friend when we are giving we should be careful about the susceptibility of the patient on the basis of the susceptibility their age sex occupations everything are to be taken into consideration the condition nature of the the work nature of their the food habits everything are to be taken into consideration some cases where we used to get that even the lm potency gives aggravations we minimize the dose potency is being increased the qualitative power of the medicine is being increased though minimize the potency the quantity of the medicine is very much minimal so even that in case of the very sensitive sensitive cases we feel there is a aggravation to handle to tackle that sort of case we see in a very excitable cases they are giving aggravation for that hanneman has been given the direction to get the the process should be allowed to mix with the much more water that is the much more dilution and after that as you know the direction to the patient physician is we should take the selected medicine with lm potency starting from lower to the higher lower means lm potency lm1 lm2 lm3 likewise the so long the improvement is going on it is opposite to the centesimal scale so long the improvement is going on our hand, our in centesimal scale our hands are off we will wait and watch till the improvement is going on but it is opposite in the 50 millisimal potency where so long the improvement is going on who is should repeat the medicines at a certain interval but my dear friend where there is aggravation in that situation we should go the part that dilution because when we give the selected one globule is to be put it 7 to 8 tablespoons full of water that is beans the 120 ml of a file new file new washer new cork where marking is to be given 15 or 16 at the sides labeling so patient will get after giving this up to neck of this file the distilled water neither acetic nor alkaline the neutral distilled water is to be poured into the file thereafter few drops of alcohol is to be given for the preservation of the medicine after administration of single poppy seed like med globule into the file and make it 15 or 16 or in case of four doses or seven doses likewise according to the knowledge of the physician and according to the susceptibility of the case we will make it divided dose and after that when we used to take the three fourth cup of water when after giving the 10 successive succession against the heart pump of a 
heart pump 10 to 12, 12 downwards a person when the file is ready from that one dose is to be taken into the three fourth cup of water thereafter with the spoon by thorough mixing after that one teaspoon spoon will be given but my dear friend where there is aggravation in the same teaspoon spoon of medicinal property is to be given to the second cup of second glass of water and if it is aggravated even then it should be diluted more into the third cup or to the fourth cup of fourth cup so that the medicinal aggravations will be reduced and in this way we if we go in every medicine every medicine starting from nozodes circles to that can be given in the cases like cancer cases like the the skin disease cases like thalassemia which i have been given the with example and efforts in this way we can know that we are in the process what has been taught by the hanuman the latest discovery which is for the quickest accomplishment of the cure so in this way we can use the lm potency and at last i can tell that the lm potency those who are not using till today i can say them you use that and see the effect of the lm potency see the truth of hanimanians love the lm potency and then and then you decide what you will do in future in this context i I am telling all these inaugurators, the the speakers, and also the moderators. Thanks to the organizers, Dr. Kullani, Dr. Bidhut, and Dr. Uh, Pralay Sharma. Everybody that for conducting that sort of CME program. Thank you all. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you very much, sir. Uh, we are all en enlightened about this 50 millisiemal potency. He has rightly told uh, it was uh, given only in sixth edition of Organ of Medicine, and uh, those who uh, follow fifth edition of Organ of Medicine may be missing this LM potency. So I request all of you to go through the sixth edition of Organ of Medicine to know more about this LM potency and use them in practice. As rightly uh, given a few cases. the first case he has given brownia where centesimal scale was given but it was not giving improvement and uh, suddenly when he changed the uh, uh, potency to lm potency lm scale <coughs> the patient improved uh, very uh, quickly and second day thalassemia case also he has uh, given causticum and uh, you have seen the results right that his hemoglobin level improved and uh, even the patient had to stop the transfusion and these are all uh, wonderful cases he has described uh, from his own practice and he has written a book on lm potency i would like to request all of you to read this book that is why and how of lm potency and so that you will have a, a very good idea and even pierre smith has also written a book on 50 millisiemal potency i request all the viewers to go through this uh, 50 millisiemal potency written by pierre smith then uh, this book written by dr mahadev day and uh, another book is written by 50 millisiemal potency theory and practice by dr harimon choudhry they are very uh, very uh, essential uh, for those who want to practice lm potency and i would like to i would uh, give you a small uh, uh case uh, even in my own experience like uh, i i was uh, sitting in cancer opd uh, uh, it is on tuesday and thursday and i have seen a case of post operative case of adenoid cystic carcinoma where the patient uh, was having all the symptoms of uh, you know, like he was already operated and he was advised to undergo a uh, left sided maxillectomy and uh, which the patient did not like and he came to nih 
and we have given lacus is 0 by 1 0 by 2 0 by 3 within 3 months he recovered and he it was he was saved from lifelong disability which i have presented in recent pg seminar also so the, the, that that is the effect of lm potency how quickly you can get your results and uh, it was it was you know like uh, honeyman has given this in uh, sixth edition of uh, uh, Arganon of Medicine and all of you know like it was written by Hanuman in uh, way back in 1842 but uh, because you no, know, he could not negotiate with the printers so it could not come to the limelight and it took around 78 years uh, to get published uh, uh, to, uh, came to the knowledge of all the physicians and uh, thereby you no know, like a lot of people they they even uh, till now even though they are practicing with LM uh, centesimal potency or decimal potency, they 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 are not aware of these potencies. I would request all of you to use this potency as far as uh, rightly uh, <coughs> instilled this. Uh, you know, like uh, he is uh, he has told that uh, before you discard any any scale, uh, please use it and see what is its effect. And uh, you have been listening to both the speakers. They have wonderfully presented their cases. And uh, regarding the theoretical part, if you want, you can read. I told you the books, uh, refer reference books, uh, the 50 millisimal potency theory in practice by Hariman Chaudhary and why and how of uh, 50 millisimal potency by Dr. Mahadev De and uh, 50 millisimal potency by Peter Smith. You can go through these books. And uh, I hand over this uh, session now to the uh, 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 Dr. Kalyani uh, to wind up uh, for today's session. Thank you very much for being with us for all the time. And I thank uh, the organizers and especially the okay. association. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, and we have one question which I had already uh, sent to Dr. Valaram, uh, sorry, Dr. Mahadev De, sir, and uh, uh, to Prashantarath, sir. But uh, before we go to the question answer session, uh, I'll request if Dr. Pralay Sharma is available. Or if Dr. Pralay Sharma is available, he want to make an announcement for the alumni meet. Dr. Pralay, are you available? Oh, Orko said that he is not there. Uh, or not available. Thank you. Thank you, Orko, for the feedback. Uh, and uh, as we are not having Dr. Pralay Sharma, uh, you all know that uh, we are having the alumni meet on 9th of December, only a few weeks left. And uh, though we started with a very sad note, and it's a, it's a great loss for all of us uh, from NIH, uh, but still, our alumni meet is on, and uh, it will be on 9th of December at uh, the Zen Switch in Rajarhat, uh, near Derosio College or, or City Center 2. A lot of uh, good places uh, to be visited for the people who are coming uh, from out of station and abroad. Uh, you have uh, Wax Museum, Adams Wax Museum, Eco Park, then Bishwabongo uh, Auditorium, uh, and a lot of other things, uh, apart from our beloved NH, which is uh, just uh, 14, 16 kilometers from the venue. <clears throat> so please do come and join and let's meet each other. Uh, God provide good strength to all of us so that we all can, uh, in the coming days, we all can meet each other and stay in a, a very healthy uh, note. And uh, over to you, uh, our moderator, sir, Dr. Professor Roth, uh, for the question. I think the question answer uh, question is addressed to Professor Mahadev Day. It's in the, so the question. The uh, question is. So the question is, uh, what are the prime application and efficacy of LM potency in Kent's observation uh, number twelve? And second question is, what are the uses of fifty millisimal scale potency in seven layer separation case genetic concept of DGS? These are the two questions that have been asked uh, by Dr. Prabir Majumdar. Question number one. What is question what, number one? What are the prime application and efficacy of LM potency in Kent observation number 12? Oh, Kent observation number 12. Okay, number one. 
number 2 number 2 is uh, what are the uses of 50 millisimol scale potency in seven layer separation case genetic concept of diseases uses of seven layers separation case genetic separation 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 yes yes separation sir oh separation separation case genetic One. genetic genetic concept so, of the seven so layer separation we had sent it on your uh, whatsapp sir concept of diseases it is on your screen sir you can it is visible on your screen also it is oh for the prime applications and efficacy of lm potency in kinds of the reasons number 12 okay kinds observation number 12 that is this is yani yani with the bell in observation number 12 symptoms takes the wrong direction where inference it is against the herring's law of direction of cure that is the selection is wrong in that case direction is immediately antidote the medicine recase taking should be done and the most similar medicine should be selected same thing is applicable in in, in is it is applicable in the 50 millisimol potency yes. my dear friend it could be better if it was the sixth edition of organon of medicine published before or during the lifetime of kent i think it could be changed it could be changed what happens i do not know including the remedy responses so even then in that situation the immediate antidote and recase taking should be done and the most similar medicines should be selected okay in case of the efficacy of the observation number 12 the efficacy the on the basis of the totality of the symptom recase taking done so the similima medicine on lm potency in suitable reputation cures the case okay or second question use of the seven layers of suppression case of so seven layers what are the use of 50 millisimol scale potency in seven layer separation case genetic concept of the disease okay you see separation after separation it goes to the deeper organisms once it has been separation different separations are there maybe chemical suppression maybe skin suppression by the ointments maybe natural suppression maybe artificial suppression there are lots of the suppression when it reaches to the seven layers in that situation we will have to search for the similar medicine out of that we will search for the predominance of the miasmatic background on the basis of the presumed predominance if the patient needs the antisorik medicine we should have to prescribe first the suitable antisorik medicines in lm potency and go so long the improvement is going on but ultimately we will see that the second layer or third layer will come then we will have to switch over from in the second potency which will switch over our prescription in the second prescription where due to the predominance of that layer if it is for the miasmatic background of syphilis the medicine of antisyphilitic medicine is to be administered starting from the lm0 lm potency here efficacy 
of LM1, LM2, LM3, gradually so long the improvement is going on, we will have to go far. After that, if there is a suppressive symptoms comes to the skin, then and then we will think about the, the, the old symptoms are appearing. In that situation, if the old symptom appears, we will have to wait and watch. Because after when the old symptom becomes standstill, then we will give the other next potency. And if it stacks, then we will search for the another predominancy of the myosomatic background. That may be the psychotic background. In that psychotic background, antipsychotic medicine is to be given. But my dear friend, the, in this case, the genetic concept of the LM potency in the 15 LM potency scale, the seven layers gradually, gradually it will come down and the old symptoms reappear. And, and if we are the keen observer, we can see that what predominance of what myosomatic state is coming. And this myosomatic state should be given. But my dear friend, we should not forget the Hanumanian's teaching. Then lastly, the treatment should be completed with most suitable antihistoric medicine. In that situation, I can help you one thing, that the, every time we are starting from the lower potency LM1, then LM2, LM3 likewise. But the medicine in antihistoric, if it at first came that it is a sulfur one, in that situation, first you prescribe sulfur, LM1, LM2, LM3, likewise LM10. Lastly, when there is a confusion of the treatment of most suitable antisoric medicine, in that situation, you should not start from LM1 because we will waste the time. It has the susceptibility has been taken up to LM10. So in that situation, to finish up the case, we should start from LM11. LM in this process, we will complete the cases. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. sir do we have any other question? Any question? Uh, I'm just uh, checking it. Please give me some time. Uh, no. Uh, there is some. Any question? The, I see Dr. Shashwati Sarkar. If you want to tell something, if you're observing, Dr. Shashwati Sarkar, please write on the live chat. If it, yeah. Put your hands up. Please write on the live chat and uh, I'll request uh, uh, Dr. Kalyani uh, to say a few words. Over to you, Kalyani, sir. <laughs> I'm not sure whether it is in my setup or it is in the steam air system. Oh, you are visible, sir. Am I audible, people? Yes, 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 sir. Yes. Visible, visible. Visible and audible. Am I audible? Sir. Yes, yes. Yes, both visible and audible. So you can tell what uh, Kalani sir, we can hear you. Uh, Kalani sir's connectivity might have been lost. Uh, the network glitch. Uh, we are still waiting for some questions in between and uh, uh, for the audience, I'll request uh, uh, another important announcement. Uh, we have formed our organizing committee for the Alumni May 22. 
and uh, the chairman of the organizing committee is over here tonight, Professor Mahadev Desa, who will be heading the organizing committee as the chairman, and the joint secretaries are Dr. Tushar Mittal and Dr. Orgo Chatterjee. We have our cultural part to take care of, uh, which will be taken care of by Dr. Pragya Paramita Chatterjee. And a uh, lot of exciting things are coming up in the alumni meet, and a uh, lot of uh, beautiful ideas are popping up. Uh, Kalani sir is back. So we can uh, see you. Kalani sir. Kalani sir, can you hear us? There might be some technical glitch. Kalani sir, can you hear us? We can see you. There must have been some technical issues. Please bear with us for some time. What? Uh, he is rejoining again, and uh, uh, there is uh, for the alumni meet. The most important thing is the old is uh, meeting with the new. So it's a creation of bonding. Like tonight, we had learned from our senior expert uh, Mahadev Desa, and we had learned from Dr. Shukhendu. Uh, the entire thing has been knitted up by our. Uh, creator of future alumni, uh, Dr. Professor Roth. So this is the uh, activities, this is the bonding, this is the networking of uh, National Star Mahabharati Alumni Association. And uh, so far, with the blessings, with the good wishes, and with the motivation from all the seniors, uh, our uh, contemporaries, and as well as our juniors, uh, probably in the medical fraternity, we are uh, the fastest and the uh, largest uh, alumni organization who are in regular activities with their alumni uh, community and meet. Kalani, sir, uh, can you hear us? I am audible. Yes, sir, you are audible. Uh, I think there is some problem with It's going on. Uh, anyway. Over to you, sir. Over to you. Thank you very much. Uh, now, many, many thanks, our heartiest thanks on behalf of the Alumni Association, especially to our uh, today's inaugurator, Dr. Manjurani Mayura, for nicely inaugurating the session. The creators of Alumni Service, he is always with us. We are really thankful to him for coming with us and sharing his experience along with moderation, beautiful moderation. And I am really very, very much thankful to yes, It's network issue again. Uh, uh, let's uh, go ahead with the uh, further discussions on the alumni meet. Uh, few uh, suggestions came forward for the alumni meet. I'm leaving now. This okay. Uh, there might be uh, there are a few. Uh, there might be uh, there are few issues with the alumni meet, uh, and a lot of people had suggested that. Uh, creation of job opportunities. So it's not only for the government job. Post uh, BHMS, post UG, uh, the students at present are looking forward for further studies and go ahead for masters. That's an excellent thing for any academicians. But the specific clinical uh, field is also open. We can open our own clinics. 
and other avenues are there then once we had completed our md then the road is not closed yet we can search for our academic uh, attachments our research attachments and lot of other attachments after that uh, we can go for our doctoral part phd but after that what to do do something for the society and uh, our organizers uh, our joint secretary dr tusha mittal our assistant general secretary dr mamat naim uh then we are coming up with e journal uh, and that's a excellent uh, uh, means uh, excellent thing which is going to happen now uh, on 9th and that is uh, e journal uh, and that e journal will be uh, is being headed now by dr sd day our alumni from alumnus from probably first batch of dipenage uh, because this is a platform where we meet our third seniors uh, from third, third batch, batch of dipenage thank you sir yes. thank you uh, so yes. he is an excellent uh, academician a research worker and he is he has taken charge of it and we have two beautiful uh, managing uh, or oh, sorry executive editors uh, the likes of dr chandrashekhar pore uh, very uh, a hard working person always having quest for knowledge and another dynamic personality uh, as a executive editor dr mohammed naim so a lot of exciting things are coming up but uh, we have with us dr kalani back on screen uh, kalani sir can you hear us i am audible but is there any problem in network is there any problem in network system frequently it is cutting off uh, Yeah, yeah. The network anyway, is problem with with your area, sir. Sir, over to you. You please continue. Anyway, uh, sorry for the disconnect in network. And uh, I, I just like to tell few things regarding our brilliant professors, our speakers today. Uh, that you have got enough information regarding the potency, uh, but you'll be very happy to know certain other information. Especially regarding these two teachers, our speakers of the day, that you might have heard that Dr. Mohanlal Dev was principal of two colleges and a brilliant scholar of National Institute of Humanity. This is not all for him. He is a man of wide heart. He loves his students so much that wherever he stays and works, atmosphere gets changed. We are very sorry to say. nowadays we are seeing that even some teachers are creating pain for the students they are hassling students even they are creating problem on the students being organ that we should assist wholeheartedly in every regard instead of that we are creating pains on them it is really a great sin in my opinion yes this i have heard and i have experienced from some sources uh, uh the network is shift Uh, we can't help it uh, with the network issue every time we are facing the issues in some place or other uh, anyway uh, we'll wait for sir and uh, i'll continue with my uh, previous uh, point from where i had left that creating of job opportunities there are a lot of other courses which are coming up and uh, various sectors like uh, healthcare professionals and uh, healthcare marketing then uh, there are sales and marketing insurance sector uh, then digital uh, healthcare platform so lot of things where we can uh, go ahead with our income potential our earning potential with our knowledge of uh, which our great master had uh enriched us with so 
So these are the things which we are thinking of discussing and pondering on it. And uh, when uh, good minds come together, sit together, discuss together, uh, we get a lot of ways out. Who can say that uh, our dream uh, of uh, what we had done in our 50th and 51st uh, edition of CME, uh, the panel discussion, homeopathy by 2030, an eye-opener for uh, the students who will be joining BHMS this year and who had joined in last 10 years. And so these things are coming up uh, in the CME, uh, in the alumni meet. I think uh, Kalani sir is back again. Kalani sir. I'm very, very you... sorry. No, over to you. Yeah, sir. I am audible. You are audible. I'm very sorry for poor network in my system. Infrequently, it is cutting off. In what I was telling that from on behalf of the alumni association, we must request all our alumni teachers to increase their hearts because to love the student, to improve the system, the right progress of the system, only it is possible if you start loving each other. So please help students as your own son. Please do not create difficulties to grow them. Practically, in my opinion, Creating problem on the students by a teacher is a sin. And as per our philosophy goes on in, in, in India, that we do consciously some sin by creating problems on the students that automatically comes to my family. My children are supposed to suffer. Please do not do that. Try to love them. If you love them, they will love homeopathy. They will grow faster. They will improve the homeopathy system. That will be our success. Why I am telling all these things? Because incidentally, very luckily, we got three professors. Dr. Prashant Tarot, Professor Dr. Mohajit De, and Professor Shukhen Jaswarkar of same quality, large-hearted person. This is our very good luck and we should expect from every one of us. Students are bound to do some mistakes. But please help them, love them. Do not create any pain. Regarding today's seminar, you, you have details, you have learned the evolution of LM potency in homeopathy system medicine. Let me tell you the evolution of LM potency in Kolkata. When I was a student of Calcutta Homeopathy Medical College, I never heard of this LM potency or I have never seen even a single teacher of Calcutta Homeopathy Medi Medical College is using or giving the LM potency. In OPT also, there is not even a single bottle of LM medicine. Cause may be different. When we came to NIH, we were very little number. In very beginning, there was no LM potency. In the latter period, few LM potency was we started to give. I will tell you a few examples. When I was a student of Calcutta Homeopathy College, why I got interest in LM potency, one patient came to me, he was nearest related to me with wars on Dorsan Bhatti Farm, typically Dalkamara, in all respect. And he is telling that for about 22 years I am suffering from these wars, gradually is increasing without any relief. First he had local treatment, then he went to SP there, then he went to BN Chakravarti. He showed me the prescriptions. And in SPD's prescription and Dr. Dean Chakuti prescription, I found Dr. SPD started with Nacardium 200, then 1, then 10, with no change. Treatment continued for two years. Dr. Dean Chakraborty started from 1M, then 10M, for a long period without any change. The things are gradually progressing. When he came to me, I was a very young, young doctor. Minister or students. Then I took the case in detail by getting the prescription of two gigantic figures and I got it is still an career. No doubt. I started giving 200, 1M, 10M, no changes. Then 50M, no changes. Then I came back to Dr. S. P. and B. N. Chakraborty's prescription. Why both of them ultimately gave 10 Being fed up after trying for a few months, 
as because he was close relative he was always irritating me when <laughs> when it will go off when it will go off so being irritable i to give them a drum of anacardia tenem and ask him to continue for every alternate day he didn't turn back to me after a long period about 7 8 months he came to a festival and i immediately i saw his form and it is clear not even a single word is there they asked him and his father how did you got this cure then they replied you took them you gave them medicine i continued i completed the drum file by this time everything gone off i was surprised to learn that anacardium tenem by repeated doses can cure a case of anacardium accidentally this was not a planned treatment rather it was a very harsh bad type of treatment but this was my experience then i went to when i went, went to inaj in second year dr inaj chakraborty director of national so homeopathy one day in his chamber he is telling and laughing that homeopathy is a magical system it is very difficult to conclude it varies from person to person not only individual lies in the totality of the symptom but everywhere potential selection repetition dose quantity everywhere it is individualistic there was one patient he was telling there was one patient in opd he was suffering from about 12 13 years of an eczema angry eczema more than a decade he took the case history case become marshal because of the higher totality he marshal he gave marshal tenem one dose and then followed by placebo patient didn't turn back after a long period one day that patient carried another patient and came to dr inar chakraborty director in which then dr inar chakraborty could recognize him what is about eczema that that has got cured how so, i purchased mark for tenem from the shop i continued every day and within a very short period within few days within a month the eczema of 12 years got cured you see the skin is unpredictable color and everything has become as normal as anything that's why i have brought this patient to him this was another accident or not classical type of prescription when we are in ni dpnis i told you el important then we went to enight when enight went to salt lake everybody started rumoring that problematic because in that desert land of salt lake you will be men sold it men do a lot of technical uh, glitches tonight uh, we'll wait for uh, one more time for kalani sir uh, probably he is getting repeated calls uh I'll request uh, Prashant Rod sir to uh, share few of your uh, views on the CME we are conducting for last two three years. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Like uh, if you, you are getting eminent speakers for all these CMEs and uh, especially people who are well uh, having uh, experience of a very long period. And like uh, today's seminar, you see Dr. Mahadev Day. He he is uh, not only a professor uh, of uh, organ of medicine he has written a book mm -hmm. on lmopathy he had a lot vast experience on this and uh, i uh, if i am correct like he is uh, like a part of manufacturing lmopathies also so who can be the best person to speak on lmopathy 
so that is how uh, if if you get such eminent persons to speak for uh, such topics definitely uh, the viewers is going to uh, get lot of benefit out of it and they can put things into practice and you know help their patients and this is uh, this is how we progress like sharing our knowledge and uh, <clears throat> and i would like to request to continue such cmes in future also so that you no know, every everyone gets benefited like what we are doing in this part of india and uh, other parts of india also like uh, there should be a sharing of knowledge sharing of experiences like uh, dr kollani was also giving very good examples like uh, from from his olden days experiences how high potencies in repeated doses at times taken accidentally was also helping patients so uh, you know it is very difficult to uh, understand homeopathy uh, you no know, like uh, maybe i i feel it, uh, a single bath is not sufficient to understand homeopathy so you have to take a uh, <coughs> few baths to understand homeopathy because you no know, as sarva healing it is it is like uh, you no know, like everywhere you need individualization at the uh, you no know, prescription part at the you no know, like poten- potency part even at reputation part even uh, like uh, <coughs> you have to sometimes you have to do uh, innovations in your prescriptions uh, so that you no know, like your patients may get benefited and there is a very thin line where you no know, like uh, we say you no know, like where we can get give a benefit to the patient sometimes surgical cases even uh, we have uh, some good prescribers in nih also like dr uh, omprya mishra madam she is also doing wonderful works in gynecology where you no know, like a tubal patent you know, like uh, Uh, in uh, uh, tubal blockage has been treated uh, with homeopathy so uh, like we we don't know where uh, what is where we can overcome that thin line between you know that surgical cases or you know, like your uh, medical cases the slowly slowly we are overcoming all these uh, hurdles so i feel this cmes are uh, very much beneficial even someone's experience helps uh, in other people to like uh, prescribe something which is uh, from which the patients are benefited the ultimate goal is to give our patients the benefits and i sometimes feel you no know, pathy is not important what is more important is our patient so <clears throat> this is how we we, we you know, patients are uh, they do not care how much you know no like uh, i always say they do not care how much you know unless they know how much you care so we should always be uh, more careful about our patients we should always be think about them we should always uh, you know in uh, go through our literatures to uh, help our patients and uh, when uh, people from uh, various fields uh, share their experience ultimately it is the patient who is going to be benefited and that is what is required and uh, nowadays what is more important is the documentation part also whenever we treat a case we should have documentation also so this documentations will help in uh, you know, showing it to the scientific world what homeopathy can really do uh, for our patients so i will emphasize every uh, prescriber to document their cases wherever whenever like uh, the documentation starts at the very uh, you no know, like beginning itself like you may not be successful in every case but whenever also to to keep the documentation from the very beginning it will be easier for you to present it before whenever you get some success and uh, positive uh, outcome out of your patients and that can be shared with other people and uh, <clears throat> to be very frank like uh, i was hesitating like initially to sit in the cancer patient whether do whether we can really help in some way or other to these patients and you will not believe uh, day by day i am uh, i am seeing like people who are only taking homeopathic medicines are getting much better benefit out of homeopathy uh, even even in uh, incurable cases like cancers even if you can improve their quality of life if you, even if you can increase their uh, survival rate you no know, like uh, <clears throat> that that itself is an achievement yeah so i i would request uh, everybody to document their cases and present it before the scientific world with uh, evidence because uh, today is a evidence based uh, uh, age era of evidence based uh, uh, 
medicine so we should all document our cases and you know like for everything like sir was giving the examples all these examples were not only giving uh, only one facet that he has prescribed l impotency now if you 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 can learn different aspects of homeopathy from it uh, like uh, how <clears throat> now like you see the thalassemia case even stopping of blood transfusion uh, for a patient of thalassemia that itself is an achievement so that 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 way uh, we have to document our cases and we have to show that uh, you know like what hanneman has written in his books are really put into practice uh, helps us in giving relief to the patients that is uh, what uh, from my side i want to share so i would request every even a novice practitioner okay should should start documenting their cases and uh, they, they they will have ample opportunity to share before the scientific world if you speak with evidence everybody will accept you everybody uh, will accept you and will uh, maybe you know you, you will be the uh, path uh, so or like like you can show the path to the different people also so that is from my side uh, like is there any other question otherwise we can wind up you know for how long yeah. uh, thank you that that's right and uh... we'll be winding up with uh, another great news that uh, apart from india and bangladesh our cme has been viewed by 20 other countries across the globe from nepal from sri lanka usa we have viewers indonesia pakistan canada lebanon uzbekistan brazil iran that's very so it is a great pleasure uh, definitely we have viewers from Turkey, Ukraine, France, Germany, Italy, Tajikistan, Morocco, and Malaysia. So NIH brand NIH uh, is reaching the globe. Uh, we have to live with us now. Quite uh, increasing. Sometimes we yeah. can invite people also to this scene. Right, sir. We are we are uniting all the people across the globe now. Uh, uh, I'll request Dr. Prala. Uh, he had joined uh, to uh, give you a vote of thanks and uh, close the CME tonight. Over to you, Dr. Prala. Well, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Vidyut. We started today with a condolence, and it, in fact, it, it is a great loss for all of us. Uh, it is a great loss for the homeopathic fraternity. And today, as uh, we always do we continue the cme which have a uh, which has a info, uh, very which goes with a lot of information and today's moderator dr roth he has emphasized on uh, on documentation and uh, really what i believe is that uh, for last more than 200 years the homeopathy been survived uh, in fact with the documentation but the scenario but the but the status of documenting a disease process and the cure process has has slightly been altered in a more scientific way what i believe uh, without documentation we do not uh, speak uh, nowadays you can see the changes in the seminar uh, with documentation the speaker comes and uh, says the uh, his view and this is uh, in one way it is good in the other way that we may lose many of the real facts which cannot be documented because this uh, system is not only the we not only we consider the physical general we also consider the mental general too and the documentation of mental general is very difficult one but uh, considering the present scenario of documentation we are always keeping our very forward into it and we are trying our level best and we had a long discussion with discussion given by dr sukendu uh, is very we are we are very proud about dr sukendu that he, he delivered his speech very well on behalf of the alumni association on behalf of the nih alumni family i would like to congratulate him i would like to also congratulate uh, dr mahadev day our all teachers Uh, and uh, he has been always very informative uh, informative to us he has given his view on lm potency and we have seen that how beautifully he he has interacted with the audience and it was a uh, he went very beautifully into it 
it was very informative one and today's moderator what i as we all know that we work together in the national institute of homeopathy here dr prashant raj is a brilliant uh, student brilliant teacher and uh, everybody loves him like anything in the institute as well as the students like students is a very popular teacher in fact whatever question you have he has the answer he has the answer in homeopathy he has the answer in modern medicine he has the answer in 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 every aspect especially of the research methodology and documentation uh, i believe that this uh, if someone gets any difficulty any obstruction uh, for documentation of the case uh, they can be our alumnus can be very free to talk to him because his number is available with me you can uh, give a call to me or our secretary dr bidu mukarji will forward the number you can you can feel very free to talk with dr prashant raj and today's moderate uh, inaugurator was dr manju rani she been very she was our bhm student as well as the mp uh, pg student too uh, very recently for uh, around one and a half year uh, she has been appointed as a medical officer Uh, in all indian institute of medical science patna and she is again a very brilliant student from our institution and as we all can see that our alumnus uh, has uh, has has a tremendous strength across the country in 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 respect of uh, homeopathy as far as homeopathy is concerned our secretary dr bidun mukherjee is very uh, dynamic into it to keep this pme in process and we you, you all know that on 9th of december we are organizing the alumni meet i request all the viewer who are listening right now and will be listening afterwards to to join the alumni meet uh, at kolkata and i believe that we will be uh, discussing many of the burning topic uh, today uh, uh, the burning topic of today's burning topic which is coming in the sect of the homeopathy we'll be talking about that and we will see each other and after long days in fact i request all the alumnus to uh, come and join in, uh, the alumni meet on 9th of december 2022 our president dr uh, kallani is like a guardian of uh, all of us is a guardian of, of all alumnus and we have a strong respect towards the deep energy uh ex students who are basically uh, have a very fatherly attitude towards the bhms uh, students and we really feel very proud to get shelter under their uh, under their control under their umbrella we are very proud to be and i believe that this seminar went well today and i thank all the viewers and i thank all the alumnus for their cooperation and i believe that in your future we will be getting much more cooperation and will be trending on thank you so much dr bidu thank you so much thank you thank you dr pralay uh, kalyani sir is finally back uh, sir i am very very sorry for this interruption what has been a beautiful history when inai amas inai was transferred from amas to salt lake The view was like that from Kadapada Junction by Eastern Metropolitan Bypass. The only building which was visible is NI building. Rest was desert land. At that time, the stadium was not there. We had to walk from Kadapada more to NI for con to continue our service. Naturally, we are very much in the former state. Will automatically come down if we go to Saltik and. we had different type of discussion what to do but and in a opd has been filled up regularly from 2000 to 2005 means 2500 patient average one of the credit goes definitely to an impotency that i can tell when he went there we determined that that time only five were who you are employed dr sanjay gosmundal myself dr sunil marsarkar dr tk misro and dr porna das
today today we are very unfortunate to have the network glitches of uh, dr kalyani sir and so uh, being the senior most here uh, uh, our chairman of the organizing committee uh, dr mahadev de sir with your permission uh, let us uh, call it a uh, close the cme uh, kalyani sir is Thank back you. again okay okay let the kalyani sir very very sir so we decided especially dr sudhima sir and myself that we have to cure the patient as quickly as possible because patient won't spare much time in this desert land by coming over crossing such a troublesome journey so from then onwards we started getting potency gradually and other later on the students that other faculty is later on they gave maximum emphasis giving on lm potencies to just cut short the time of recovery and gradually you got a brilliant result after a long year of survey three decades what we have realized dr kushant rot what he was telling that brilliant result by lm potency not only you can cut short the period you can quickly gain the confidence of the patient yes i have improved i am getting cure then that are giving one dose and waiting for months together so practically what is my opinion you may agree with me that propagation of lm potency in bengal and all over india has been done by ni alumni only if you go on searching you will see even the big companies like hanuman publishing company sbl and other companies they did not have this potency also only it was started from molali international homeopathy and gradually gradually spread it now medicine is available everywhere so the propagation of lm potency in practical field it is really contribution of nmi ni alumni and ni faculties it, we have been experimentally proved that lm potency is very very much useful so we request all of our alumni doctors students to try and see the differences it is called that homeopathy is slow acting medicine it is absolutely wrong in my opinion homeopathy is the first working medicine you give epica or aconite one dose in a on the tongue see the effect within few minutes sometimes three minutes sometimes five minutes if it is rightly selected but in any modern medicine if you give on tongue it will take time to absorb from the stomach then it will go to the circulation then to the target cell then it will start working it will take a little bit more time but delaying of treating means the bad name that homeopathy works slow it is absolutely wrong we are slow we are not able to detect the potential they said observed nit is confident to prescribe lm potency in a better way to get sir dile dile bhala tarat ami tok kichu khe jabe dao okay uh the yes, glitch sir. is being continued uh, it's already 2 hours plus uh, yeah it was very interesting i i'll call it a day uh, <coughs> and so uh, thank all the audience uh, almost uh, we have live audience now is 93 we thank uh, all the audience our kalani sir is back again <laughs> i'm very very sorry uh, Only part of my discussion, what you have observed that for the cases which is obstinate type, like warts, as Doctor Dave was telling, scar tissues, obstinate diseases not easily get cured, and the risky cases where fatality is more, there you can safely use LM potency and definitely will get quicker result. Whole world is becoming gradually faster and faster and faster. We may think can equally continue. It can be equally faster. If we go on in thinking and potency, so many many thanks to our speakers, viewers, Dr. Mukherjee, 
our moderators, Dr. Rock, and all other concerned for coming and joining with us in this game. Thank, Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, thank you, sir. And uh, we are returning back to our backstage editor, Orko Mukherjee. And good night, everybody. We'll be meeting again on 27th of uh, November for our 61st CME. Back to you, Orko. Thank you all. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed today's CME. And if you want more about this, if you want have a Spotify playlist, uh, the link is in the description. Follow the Spotify playlist. Uh, we have uh, recently stopped uploading few things as we are getting uh, poor response on Spotify. So that's why we have stopped for now. But please do check our Spotify playlist, it's on, given in the link, the link is in the description. It's totally an audio format file of the CMEs in cutout portion. You will be listening to those CMEs in an audio format. And we are trying to do our level best to upload that video on YouTube cutout format. We also have few cutouts, about two cutouts. You can just check on the channel, just go uh, click on the channel. Hit subscribe button, the red subscribe button, then click on the notification bell to get updates. And after going to the channel, you can just click on the playlist portion and you will get two playlists. As we have uploaded only two cutouts, you can check it from there too. And again, to get updates on our uh, NIH alumni station and what's happening behind the scenes and also what's happening in NIH and homeopathic fraternity, to know that. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and like our page on Facebook. So with this, and also one more thing to add, if you want e-certificate, e-participation certificate, the link is also in the description. Just click on that, fill some details, uh, fill up some details uh, as per asked, and you will be getting the auto e-generated certificate via your email. So. And if you have any type of error in your email, then the email may not be sent to you. Like you have typed, for example, I'm saying that Orko B. Mukherjee. You have some, uh, maybe you have typed Orko B. Dot Mukherjee, then at the rate gmail.com. Then at the rate you have written, suppose Orko B. Mukherjee at the rate email.com. Not G, but E. So please check that email uh, twice then only you will be getting your email again in a corrected format. But also, we are also trying to uh, give away those certificates, return to those certificates in the proper email address to correct it. But it is a request to you from uh, behalf of ID team just to check your email properly. So this is the main thing. And thanks for watching in the live version and also in the recorded version. We will meet you in our next scene. Until then, it's me. Orko Mukherjee, living and time for post-CME talks.